We always like to set fence armor off the ground, usually about an inch and a half to two inches. And if you use a two by four on the ground uh, right up next to it, you'll be able to set it there. I like to set in the center screw as you see here, not all the way through, but just about uh, so that you can slide behind the uh, fence armor through the slot. That slot allows you to encompass the post, basically posts that are between five and a half inches to six and a half inches. So you've got enough play on the circumference for that. Then you cinch down that uh, screw to kind of hold it in place. And at the top and bottom, you'll find the other holes that you can align. If you can't align them, then you certainly can uh, pre-drill it a little bit. But most likely you'll find a hole there as we, the pitch is only about three quarters uh, between them. Then you want to tighten down the uh, top or the bottom one and uh, cinch those down. And basically at that point you've, you've got it fastened. So depending on what kind of cedar post you're using or what kind of post you have, uh, the round will allow that to happen. Uh, three screws is plenty. If you want to put more you can. Uh, generally uh, we use stainless steel screws and uh, if you bought them from us that's what you'd be using. So again keeping it off the ground keeps out the moisture and of course puts the center line cut right at the center line of the uh, of the product. You can confirm the height but uh, it's not necessary. Uh, you'll also uh, notice here in the picture that I use the measuring tape just to show you that certainly between five and a half to six and a half inches that's what this is designed for if your posts are bigger then of course you can use multiple pieces and grow the diameter based on those uh, pieces thanks for buying fence armor